What is up, YouTube family? So, wanted to give you guys another update. Um, today is Tuesday, the 15th of January. My last, uh, my, my, my last video was very angry, very angry. Um, I had just gotten the news that Ford was not gonna buy my car back, and man, I was pissed. Oh, I was pissed, so mad. Um, anyways, so I did talk to Ford today, actually. I got a hold of the vice president of West Coast Customer Satisfaction, a very nice young woman uh, who basically told me she was the one that declined my lemon law. She said that she reviews all the lemon law cases and that my car does not qualify for lemon law. And you know what? <clears throat> At this point, I was already so upset with it. I had like sort of lightweight written it off. Like I was like, you know what? Like, it's just, ugh headache right so I tried one last time and I basically explained my case to her everything through all five of these videos effectively um, what happened you know I told her about what happened in October and then I told her about what happened now and that I haven't had my car for 40 days and you know it was just it's it's just a lot of stress you know and I told her I don't feel safe in my car I don't feel like I got what I paid for you know, just a lot of, a lot of, I don't get what, what you gave me for, you know, like, like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not getting it. So she actually, it was interesting because as we were talking, I told her, Hey, look, I haven't had my car in 40 days. She goes, wait a second. What do you mean Ford still has your car? So here's the deal. Evidently they don't have any record of the latest fix from Ford. So the way that it works is that when you take your car to a Ford dealership, Ford repairs it, they put in everything, and then they send it over to Ford Corporate. Well, the problem is, is that there's some lag time there between what the tech tells the service advisor and the service advisor tells Ford. My guessing is, is because the dealerships are probably trying to milk Ford for everything that they can. So with that being said, you know, they, they ride it so that it's in a good way to make the dealership the most money that's economically possible. However, um, the woman actually got on the phone with Ford, verified that yes, it was a second major engine malfunction, which is very dangerous. Uh, she did clarify that yes, the car was in fact in the shop for X number of days. And uh, she basically told me that the Lemon Law claim that she denied needs to be reopened for second review. Now, here's what's really cool about that. She is the one that declined the law, declined it in the first place. And uh, basically what she's telling me is, hey, look, I screwed up, which is bravo to Ford for them owning up as far as what's happening, right? Like she said, look, I didn't know that the dealership still has your car. There is some lag time here. I declined it because I only saw one repair order. One, not two. Uh, and with that repair order, my car was only in the shop for 19 days. So it doesn't count as a lemon. And at that time I wasn't pursuing the lemon law like I am now actually. Um, so for what it's worth, uh, I mean, I guess this is very good news. What she's gonna do is she's now gonna review my case again and I should know by Friday. Um, I told her at the beginning of the call, you know, how disappointed I was in Ford and that I am kind of a Ford guy. I've had a lot of Fords and I'm, I'm very disruptive. I'm disruptive, I'm very upset with them and disappointed, you know, that, that they didn't step up to help me after I bought a car that obviously is a problem, you know? And I don't wanna get a lawyer and I don't wanna get an attorney and go through all that BS. like. It's very simple. I just need to talk to somebody with some common sense. And the good news is that's what I felt like I've got. I got a hold of somebody with some common sense. Um, so with that being said, I now wait a couple of days to see what she gets back to me. I mean, last time uh, I made the Lemon Law claim on Friday and I heard back Monday. So hopefully I hear something back within the next couple of days. Now, one thing that she did tell me, she said that she cannot guarantee that it will go through. I mean, obviously she can't guarantee it, but she did ask me what else she can do to make me satisfied. And 
honestly, one of the things that Ford can do to make me satisfied, and I've been saying this since the very beginning, with whatever happens, is I want an extended warranty. Like, however you have to slice it, I want an extended warranty, whether it's on my new car, because I, I want a replacement. I don't necessarily want a buyback because of my specific financial obligation that I have to my car. I'd like a replacement. I'd like a 2019 Ford Fusion Sport. I like the magnetic color, maybe a blue one, you know, just something different. Um, and that would make me a very, very happy, happy Ford customer. So we'll see what happens. Um, We'll see. Like I said, I, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'll keep you guys in the loop. Uh, subscribe, of course, uh, so that way you guys know I've been making videos every couple of days. I don't know if you guys are getting a lot from this or if this is even um, helping some people. I, I hope it does. I hope it helps people because I, when you look up Lemon Law on the internet, just a bunch of freaking lawyers come up and like, I don't want to hear from you. You know, I want to hear from me. So um, I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. And uh, fingers crossed that I hear good news from Ford. Um, I am on my way actually right now to go pick my car up. Ooh, uh, which is kind of cool. It's amazing how fast the dealership fixes it once you get Ford corporate involved. So car wasn't even supposed to be done today. I'm not supposed to be done until Thursday. And all of a sudden it's fixed today. So uh, yeah, it's amazing. Anyways, leave a comment down below on what you guys think is kind of going on with it so far, um, as far as what you think Ford may do. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Have a great day and thanks for watching.